Today's topic of discussion is allosteric enzymes. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to get notified. Enzymes are biological catalysts. They speed up the biochemical reactions. Enzyme binds to the substrate and convert that into product. The substrate usually binds at the active site of the enzyme. In allosteric enzymes, the enzymes that has additional site other than the active site for allosteric ligand binding. The site other than active site is called as the allosteric site. The allosteric ligands are also known as effector molecules. The binding of effector will bring about conformational change in the active site altering its catalytic or binding properties. The effector molecule can either be an activator or inhibitor of enzyme activity. The activator enhances the enzyme activity after binding whereas the inhibitor decreases the enzyme activity after binding. The allosteric enzymes are multi subunit enzymes and they exist in two conformational forms. They are the T state or the tense state and the R state or the relaxed state. The T state has low activity and low affinities for the substrate whereas the R state is having high activity and high affinity. The allosteric enzymes do not show Michaelis maintained kinetics and the enzyme kinetic graphs will be sigmoidal rather than hyperbolic. The allosteric enzymes can be classified into two types. They are K type and V type. The classification is based on the alteration of kinetic activity after the ligand binding. In K type, the allosteric binding alters the Km value whereas the Vmax value remains constant. Whereas in V type, the allosteric binding alters the Vmax value and the Km value remains say, same. Example for K type is the phosphofructokinase and the example for V type is acyl coenzyme A carboxylate. If you look at the allosteric models, there are two different um, proposed models. One is the sequential model and the other is the concerted model. Based on the regulation, uh, there are two types of uh, regulatory models. They are a homotropic regulation and the heterotropic regulation. In homotropic regulation, uh, substrate and the effector molecule are same. In this case, it is mostly enzyme activation and it is called as the corporativity. And in the heterotropic regulation, the substrate and the effector molecules are different. The effector may activate or inhibit the enzyme. If you see the sequential model, uh, it was proposed by Koshland. And in this model, the binding of the substrate induces change in the conformation of enzyme from T state to R state. The substrate binds according to the induced fit theory of Koshland. The conformational change in one unit of the enzymes uh, stimulates the similar change in other subunits. In concerted model or the model of symmetry, the, there is a simultaneous change in all the subunits of enzyme. All the subunits are either present in R forms or T form. An inhibitor shifts the equilibrium of T to R towards the T state and the activator shifts the equilibrium towards R form and favors the binding. If you look at the allosteric enzyme kinetics, the enzyme kinetic graph follows a sigmoidal graph trend. In presence of an activator, this becomes hyperbolic and it follows Michaelis maintained kinetics. So allosteric enzymes in, in the effector, if it is an inhibitor, the graph will be sigmoidal rather than hyperbolic. Hope you are clear with this topic. Thank you.